The disaster that was the opening night of the Las Vegas Grand Prix is having some longer lasting effects on Formula One and a $200 voucher isn't going to pave over these cracks or manhole covers for this unhappy customer. Ferrari are seeking compensation for the costly incident that was suffered by Carlos Sainz during FP1 on the Las Vegas Grand Prix's opening night of action. Sainz's Ferrari ripped a manhole cover off the streets of the city that in turn ripped through his car, destroying his chassis, power unit and battery and costing the Spanish driver a 10-place grid penalty. Ferrari team boss Fred Vasseur will be having discussions with the race organisers about some sort of financial reimbursement for the damage done not just to the car but to Ferrari's budget cap with the repairs and parts needed over the weekend. This will be a private discussion that I will have with the stakeholders of this event, said the Ferrari team boss. For sure, we have a lot of consequences on the financial side, on the sporting side and on the stock of spare parts and on the budget side for sure. It's not an easy one. But it's also true that if we have to adjust the budget cap, our whole cost, at least between now and the end of the season, we don't have so much room to play with or we miss Abu Dhabi. So there is this rumour compiling that perhaps without financial support, the Ferrari drivers will be missing out on the last race of the season in Abu Dhabi, although this could just be a threat to Liberty Media and the Las Vegas race organisers to ensure that they get some sort of financial reimbursement. Either way, Las Vegas has had a huge impact on the constructors' battle for second between Ferrari and Mercedes, with the gap down to just four points after the race, but imagine what could have been without that overly harsh grid penalty for Ferrari and Sainz, one they clearly weren't at fault for. The Vegas Grand Prix could have repercussions even further down the line. Get ready for a new look Alpha Tauri in 2024. The team CEO Peter Bayer has confirmed the constructor will undergo a complete rebrand for next season after making connections with two new US-based sponsors. Once Toro Rosso, now named after Red Bull's clothing brand, the team looks to move on from its current iteration and has thanked mid-season stand-in Danny Ricciardo as a significant factor for attracting the new investment as the team look to get their rebrand finalised by the FIA entry deadline next month for the 2024 season. We're on a good trajectory, and because we've had such good traction in the US at the moment, we've found these two companies who like each other, said Bayer to Autosport. We had a very, very good meeting with these two big new partners, and they understood each other really well. They sort of mingled immediately. We talked about when do we announce it, what do we do, he added, and we said, look, this is what usually happens, and we have the FIA entry form, and we have the livery presentation, and then they had ideas. They started brainstorming so much that I got scared, actually. They have a couple of very big ideas. They're thinking big, bigger than we would probably have dared to think. More interesting than the new name and the new look for AlphaTauri might be the impact though that Ricardo has had on this business venture and if that means he'll be sticking with the team for next season rather than hopping into Checo Perez's seat at Red Bull. And finally, Mick Schumacher is back racing again, and not on the simulator for Mercedes. No, but it's not in an F1 car either, as the young German has been given the nod by Alpine to become part of their World Endurance Championship team for 2024. Now, Mercedes will still retain the services of Schumacher Jr. as their reserve driver, but it's a chance for the young German to get back behind a racing wheel once again while he waits for a spot in the big leagues, with few chances appearing on the F1 grid for 2024, especially as Williams look like they're going to be keeping Logan Sargent for one more year. But it'll be good to see some meaningful laps being driven by the young star again and perhaps there will be an F1 drive in the near future for Schumacher Jr. We will have to wait and see. Like with all of these stories, we'll wait to see the outcome and GPFans.com and GPFans Global will be the first to bring it to you as soon as any news drops. And remember, stick with us by hitting subscribe down below here at the YouTube channel for all of our latest news and feature videos. But now let's move on to Abu Dhabi and the last race of 2023.